Hello, greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Mancillon. Welcome to my channel. I wanted to wish you a good day. I wasn't uh, really um, so. There's so much going on within my own personal life that I wasn't really sure what I was going to talk about. But it's very important to in, in, in transcendental psychology, but in all psychology, to move little step by little step to to set short term goals where you can achieve those goals, and then you have the satisfaction of moving step by step, like stepping stones when you cross a river. Make small steps. Doesn't mean you don't want to keep. Mid Mid, mid range goals or long term goals for that the, the, the total freedom and, and ecstasy of of reaching the higher planes is the the ultimate goal of of of, of, of this incarnation, whether we're conscious or not, what we do need to do is to continue to teach love and unity, to teach and to seek, to, to tell everybody that they have to seek this truth within themselves, to, to not expect it to come from outside until they can, once you find it within, it will be much outside. So, so continue to develop this connection, for it is a free choice to follow your heart, to follow the heart. Once you follow the heart and, and you choose to follow the heart, you, you, the voice of the heart, the inner voice, the, then you can entrust everything else in the capable hand of God. You can trust God on all levels as long as you take care of your own inner connection. For uh, for discernment is very important to discern uh, the, those things that are that are that are that are, you, that are sponsored by fear the, the, and illusions. Those things that are sponsored by truth and love, that which separates or that which unifies. So we want to continue to work with those energies of love, unification, and and to return to that understanding of truth, that integration of truth. For even in the public realm, the public figures uh, that are. People that there, there are some people that are working for the light. They just haven't been called to to take on their functions. So do not judge uh, you, until you, you you have a clear discernment and understanding, lucidity in relationship to all those people that are part of the world stage. And uh, some of them are pushing an agenda. And there are some dark beings in human forms, and there are clones as well. All of that will come into the picture. It's going to shatter the, the the reality of 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 the mainstream consciousness when they're going to actually. Um, be faced with that understanding, that knowledge, but uh, continue to love through, to work through love and unity principle. Huh? For there is so much that is coming, so much. Uh, the destination is freedom. The destination is is uh, is together. Uh, first, you want to find your personal freedom, but it is all connected. To, in a sense, we're seeking to to create this freedom for the world. I'm going to pull a few cards, and, and this is uh, and it is right around the corner. There is so much that is uh, that is been hidden by our soul as well. For for the soul, will reveal so much, but will hide so much because it likes suspense. It's like surprises. It's, a, it's God has a great sense of of humor and uh, and a sense of timing as well. <laughs> so so trust that. For the the past is the guardian. It's we've been through. Uh, I use these Dakini cards. Uh, it, it, we've been through many initiation, and the initiation will continue whenever we're ready for something. We, we we are given that thing. So so it's about continue to 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 tune into this this deep inner transformation, this mystical experiences. Do not be afraid of what is going on. Call on your light teams whenever you need. You feel like you need uh, you need assistance, guidance, protection, and and they will be there. They will respond. What we are now is uh, just passing through. Everything is in transition mode right now when the buffer zone so so it's just passing through and just uh, be pre prepare yourself for this uh, this this paradise timeline what is coming in the future is the white lady the mother of pearl it is it is an, it's just a warning not to get involved in pessimism or doom and gloom and to let go of all those things for the impurity is really what makes the pearl a pearl it's the little sands that infiltrated the, the oyster that becomes that beautiful pearl so so continue to cultivate the pearls of wisdom within yourself and not allow anything to, to distract you from from your enthusiasm your your, your determination and your your your, your certain your create certainties in relationship to your destiny. What we're working on now is the waves of bliss, it's the ecstasy, it's the, it's the holy grail, it is the love. It all comes from within. It's going gonna, it's gonna to emerge up, it's going to bubble up to the surface, but continue to cultivate love and sharing that love. And the outcome will be wisdom. It's the, it's the hard drop, it's the oasis in the desert, it's the essence of wisdom. We're going to be moving into the as a result of cultivating love within ourselves and letting go of the dramas, we're, we're gonna we're gonna be accessing a great wisdom. The wisdom is the ability, but there is there is no definition in wisdom. Wisdom is, a, is, is there is always new level of wisdom. Only God possesses infinite wisdom. But as we tune in, we are given an aspect of wisdom, which means the utilization of the the utmost utilization of knowledge, how to utilize the the energies of time and space for 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 the highest purpose and the highest joys. 
for it, it, there is an exercise you, that we, we want to create this expansion. You close your eyes and you imagine that all of the world disappears, vanished in one moment. And then you breathe and you create this great expansion to expand your inner world, your inner self. There's this great cosmic void inside and we want to, we want to be, to, to, to create this, this great, um, great expansion you can call on your galactic friends and family whether it is the venusians whether it is the pleiadians the syrians the arcturians the andromedan the antarians the pegasian the, the cassiopeian the lyrians the, the positive orion the, there's all kinds of, of of connections that we can call on and many others um, and then when you don't know, you always call on the high council of any civilization for the civilization are millions of years ahead of us in psychological development and scientific. And so, so but they're here on assistance. They're very close and they've received permission to assist. So, so you can um, call on the high council for even in Orion, if you, Orion can be very, it can be negative Orion, but, but if we call on the high council, it will be very positive and enlightened and very supportive energies on any level. The high councils, even the high council of the earth is really a very enlightened. But it's only the middle consoles that were disrupted by dark entities. So, um, for, for what you wanna, we want to do is to love and protect our planet, this Gaia, the Gaia Shitaya, the, the, the great mother, and we're here to protect her, to send the love of God, to, to, infuse, uh, to infuse our reality into the earth, it's through, and asking God to do it for us, to bless the earth, to, send this, uh, to invoke this power to, to, to assist them. For we, uh, the earth is made of elemental energy, our physical body is made of elemental energies, elemental beings. They're very intelligent beings they maintain all the forms and we're created we're made from those elemental energies so we learn to 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 deal with them and to to, to work intelligently with our new our new consciousness with those elementals that is part they're part of us and we're made from the the matter of the earth and the light of the sun and it's really we're we're made of, of light as well but we want to remember our multi-dimensional self our fifth dimensional self um, and the, the only thing we need to do is to allow the love of god to to become to to invade us to to allow god wants only one thing is to to full to fulfill us in this in this amazing love Love. And so this is only what we need to do, to let go of the resistance, the, to allow the heart to open to, so that the, the love of God can flow into our reality and enlighten our mind. And all of this will come. Well, I hope this message was interesting for you. I thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I thank you for your donations. If you want a private session, you can send me um, an email. And uh, for, for, for in a sense, uh, this unity consciousness says, I am who you are and you are who I am. We, there is no, uh, everybody is individual, there is infinite diversity in the experience and your responsibility is yourself. But everybody else is another you experiencing on another level, another cycle from a personal standpoint. For personality is a great gift from, from God. And uh, for understanding, some will pass and some will not pass. Some will mo move into this fifth dimensional integrated connected universe and some will remain below. This is not their time. Just uh, do not, you can't judge them. And there is a great uh, process of purification that is on the, wo on the way. And uh, this is the card of all that shines that is uh, that escape. Huh? It's like to to know to know all that shine is beautiful. The ex external surface world, but only if we connect to our to our inner self. If we if we get lost in the in the outer world, it, it will be very confusing. We'll go through a lot of up and down. So it's about letting go and connecting inside as much as possible. The highest wisdom is the yin. Things will unfold naturally. It's connected to the divine feminine, the great Sophia, the, 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 the mother earth, all the divine feminine, the, to allow things to unfold naturally, to, to not to force, not to rush anything. What we need to understand is the faithful heart to remain true to ourselves and those we love. To, to know there is a, there is this deep love connection that is a, that is already a, a soul connection, and so it's like the deeper we feel something, the, the more real it is in relationship to our soul. What we need to do is a reparation to bring things back into alignment. It's just it's just a matter of doing this little work each and every day, small step to bring like little aspect of our life into alignment. And the outcome is the wind of change. There's going to be a lot of change through the summer and through the end of the year. So much will be... Um, for, for it, it always takes longer to come into the material reality, but you can already experience it, experience it within uh, before it actually manifests in the world. Well, I hope this message was interesting for you. I'm going to sing a song. I wasn't really sure what to sing, so I thought I'd sing this song. It's, uh, it's called Your Song. It's a song of Elton John. It goes like this. 
It's a little bit funny, that feeling inside. I'm not one of those who can easily hide. I don't have much money, but boy, if I did, I'd buy a big house where we both could live. If I was a sculptor, but then again, no, a man who sells potions in a traveling show. I know it's not much, but it's the best I can do. My gift is my song, and this one's for you. And you can tell everybody this is your song. It may be quite simple, but now that it's done, I hope you don't mind, I hope you don't mind that I put down in words how wonderful life is while you're in the world. I sat on the roof and kicked off the moss, well a few of those verses, well, they got me quite cross, but the sun's been quite kind. While I wrote this song, it's for people like you that I keep it turned on. So excuse me for forgetting, but these things I do, you see I've forgotten if they're green or they're blue. Anyway, the thing is what I really mean. Yours are the sweetest eyes I've ever seen. And you can tell everybody, this is your song. It may be quite simple, but now that it's done, I hope you don't mind, I hope you don't mind that I put down in words how wonderful life is while you're in the world. I hope you don't mind, I hope you don't mind that I put down in words how wonderful life is while you're in the world. A nice song that reminds us of how precious we are. Even if we're no longer part of this world, we're still connected, we're still eternal beings, and we'll still be able to, to reconnect. With, it's it's going to get easier to reconnect to the invisible world, and all the, the dearly departed will be, uh, will be present within our consciousness very soon. Um, any of the, the it's going to be a great f celebration of our uh, when we find that 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 soul of flesh within that connects our consciousness to to the great expanse of heaven and so it is all part of what is going on for now we need to be very discerning in relationship to all things not even judgment but discerning discerning um, also the, that which is within our power and that which is not within our power. That's the, the great stoic principles of philosophy. That's in Epictet. I recommend the manual of Epictet from the 2000 years ago. It was a slave that was freed. This, this, magne, this little manual of, of those things to, 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 to help navigate the, the, the flows of life. And the card of the day is the two of Gabriel. Be bold and, and do, make ambitious choices. Progress is possible. Favor relationship with people who are looking in the same direction as you. So it's very much about uh, looking for kind of spirit, find the, the people that are in, in us, in, 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 to, to, to utilize the, the our energy, to be discerning. To, to it's better to not to, to reject anyone, but to to tune into the people who are. Um, to cooperate, we're going to move into a sphere of cooperation, and for that we need to have same goals, and so so to favor those relationships and to to understand progress is very much possible, and it's like it's time to be bold, to be ambitious, to be audacious, to be perspicace, to be perspicace is to find out to to align how to align with what 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 is the will of God within us, and it's to to understand that perspicacity, to be lucid in relationship to that. Well, thank you very much. Wish you a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. Namaste.